Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Tuesday. Okay guys, so I've been saying this, but we are getting ready to get on a flight tomorrow at 5.45 in the morning. So this should just be really fun and interesting, but um, it's for the Banner Pump Rolls premiere. So I went last year and the year before, and I think that it'll be a lot of fun. It's just like, I think I'm only going to be in LA for 18 hours, and then I have to fly to another location, which I'm not sharing with anyone, for a fun. Well, you guys will see. I'll share it with you. But right now we're back to talk about um, Ariana Maddox. Katie Maloney, The Sandwich Shop, and Sheena, because she is calling out a fellow podcast host. Before we jump in, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and um, let's jump right in. Like we do it. All right, guys. So as we get into this, like calling out the potential, uh, well, the podcast host and everything, I am going to, right now, I'm doing a giveaway for Blue Mean. This is the product that I'm always promoting for my skin. It's my favorite product. I don't leave home without her, especially if I'm traveling. But what I was going to say is I'm going to ask you who's in the right. By the end of this, you'll be able to answer Sheena or Nick Vile. So what I want you to do is go Click on the description. You can see where we have our podcast or anywhere you get your podcast. Drop a five-star review right here and then let us know what you think. Who's in the right, Sheena or Nick Vile? Super simple. And then by the time we get to 1,000 reviews, ratings, then we're going to do our giveaway. But with that, guys, let's start with the Ariana and Katie of it all first because um, – this just feels like it's been going on for forever. Now, Ariana and Katie Maloney's sandwich shop, Something About Her, is again facing delays. Months after the West Hollywood restaurant was supposed to open its doors to patrons, the Vanderpump Rules stars have been hit with permit issues that have made it impossible to open. Now, there's a new update on their soon-to-be hotspot, hopefully. And also, Ariana is discussing her new life in New York City with her boyfriend, Dan. Along with the series of photos of the sign and front patio taken down at something about her. A new report has confirmed that the opening date has been put on hold due to ongoing health department issues. The front patio at the location was there for years when it was Headley's restaurant, and it was there without proper city permits. So a source told the U.S. Sun on January 13th, after the remodeling, Katie and Ariana learned that permit laws had changed, and they had to take down their sign and break down the entire front patio. Now, while something about her previously featured a yellow and white awning along with a small patio, that has all been torn down as Ariana and Katie attempt to score a new permit with the city of West Hollywood that allows them to rebuild a different canopy and outdoor dining area. This is a nightmare. So the drawings that were submitted for the new outdoor dining space don't look the same as it was before. That's what the source shared. They're not giving up hope since the outdoor dining area would be beneficial to the business and will allow for more seating space. But in addition to the exterior of their venue, Ariana and Katie are also having to redo their flooring. The health department said that the floor is not for open food use. So the entire flooring has to be pulled out. Well, if you pull out that flooring, you have to pull out all of the furnishings. You have to pull out the refrigeration too because that wasn't put in correctly is what the insider said. So now all of a sudden after spending $300,000 on a build out, they have to redo everything is what apparently is going on. So they said it's a clusterfuck. It's a lot of back and forth with city officials. Taking over this location has been bad luck from the beginning. And it's like been jinxed because it's always something new. Ariana and Katie's liquor license for something about her is still pending as well. But as for Ariana's recent move to New York City, where she is set to begin her run as Roxy Hart in Chicago later this month, the Vanderpump Rules cast member said that while a lot is still the same, some things are much different than she recalls from her years living in New York City a while ago. Some parts of it are like riding a bike, taking the train and walking everywhere, things like that. I was like, okay, I remember how to do this. And then other things are just different because it's a different city than when I lived here before because I was here pre-Instagram, pre-iPhone, pre-social media. It is very different in a lot of ways, but I think that's just, you know, the world at large. Oh, huh. what an interesting take. You want to talk about mothers. 
Just kidding. I've had six shots of espresso. And my face is still burning because it's tanny. But that's okay. So now from there, I want to talk about this because um, Sheena is now calling shit out. And she is questioning her friendship with Nick Vile after there were podcast comments that were made. So thank you to realityt.com. But Sheena is looking for loyalty within her group. And she's been questioning it from Nick Vile and whether or not he truly has her back after a punchline regarding her husband, Brock Davies, was put on his podcast. Brock and Sheena, obviously, you know them from Vanderpump Rules, and in that business, anyone is the fair game for commentary, but comments made by their former co-star, Charlie Burnett, while on Nick Vile Files, apparently wounded uh, Sheena. Okay. Sheena took to her own podcast shenanigans to react to comments made by Nick and Charlie while in the conversation in an episode title, In the Hot Seat with the Payroll Husband. Sheena revealed that she's known Nick for years, all the more reason to feel betrayed. But she said, I have his phone number and we have done some social media things together. I've appeared on his podcast. But here's why Sheena perceived disloyalty. Charlie called Brock a payroll husband when she guest starred on The Bio Files. The term stuck and Nick repeated it during another episode. Now, while explaining her feelings, Sheena suggested that Nick used her as a topic of conversation due to her platform and popularity on Vanderpump Rules. I feel like I have been a subject on the last several episodes of his podcast because he has nothing else to talk about. Sheena also questioned what the term payroll husband even implies, but she felt it was misogynistic in nature. And she also denied ever paying her husband to appear on Vanderpump Rules with her or any other collaboration. So Sheena's out here pretty much saying, leave my name out of your fucking mouth because it's not happening. Now, I know that I gave you guys a story yesterday called The Breakdown. Um, that was about Sheena and Brock talking about their time in Australia. And now I have the audio from it. So, well, video. And here it goes. Thank you to Byway Way Hello Drama. Okay. So, obviously, I have to ask because everyone on Instagram who's sent in questions has asked if we got a chance to see your kids while in Australia. And I just want to let you say whatever you want to say, because that question is not for me. Mm -hmm. So if yeah. you want to address that. I'll jump in here. Uh, I think it's a very difficult situation based on my actions, my past and where, what, uh, what my actions have caused for these kids, especially when they were younger um, there was obviously there's trauma there that needs to be mended. And then my actions on the, on my side, I need to show them, keep turning up and show them that I am the dad that I want to be and that they want to be around. Um, so that's first and foremost, is when it comes to child support, we paid them in full, made the payment. Uh, and now we're working on a healthier relationship or a better relationship with the kid's mom and their stepdad. And the goal is to just be on time with my child support every month, make sure that payment goes across and just continually turn up, ask, communicate with them. Right now, the parents and their choices, they would like to just keep it private. They obviously have a very private life. Mm -hmm. And so I know, I know everyone's interested in my two little ones and I love that. And they are top of mind every time I go back home. And the goal is to be able to have the door there. It's always open. So when they want to build that relationship with me, when they see that I am where I have been turning up and continually turning up, hopefully they can build that trust up. So it's uh, it's tough. Um, my actions put me here. And so now I just got to keep being aware that I got to take my time with this and do the right thing and keep turning up. And yeah. so that's that's where we're at. It's a tough one. I wish I could tell everybody like, yeah, we're going we're meeting up, we're doing this, but it's going to take time. We're dealing with kids. They're going from high school, uh, preschool to high school. There's a whole bunch of things changing in their life and I don't want to be another one in there. Um, I think they have a, a loving dad, half sister uh, and a beautiful family. So, you know, right now that's not their priority and I understand that. Yeah, totally. But and thank you, everybody that's concerned. I would love for them to come around eventually, but yeah, we're dealing with kids. Yeah, and rebuilding that relationship with your ex-wife and getting caught up and being consistent with the child support and being able to at least receive photos regularly yeah. now, you know? So it's like baby steps, but at the end of the day, these kids are old enough to make their own decisions and, you know, they have their solid family unit set in place and they're in a very good place. So 
I know you're not going to disrupt that. You're going to do what you can to keep, you know, showing up in whatever ways you can. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Not easy. Oof. Well, do you want to um, switch gears as Andy Cohen says? Yeah, switch it up. <laughs> What's the best and worst things about being married to me? Oh, my God. <laughs> I think they're both the same. Okay. So you could obviously see. Oh, that got me choked up. Guys, again, go to anywhere you get your podcast. At the um, end of this video, of course, I told you everything that happened with Nick Vile. Go to anywhere you get your podcast. Look up Up and Adam. It's also in the description of this video. In order to win your free Blue Mean, all you have to do is go down where you leave the reviews. We're at 774. We're trying to get to 1,000. Drop a five star rating, drop a review. Let us know who you think's in the right, Nick Vile or Sheena. And um, that's all you have to do to enter to win. I love you guys. We'll see you next time. And I hope you have the best, most beautiful Tuesday.